Well, it's a bit sporting out here this morning. It's a little bit bumpy. There's a bit of a swell running. A bit of a decent chop from the bit of a blow we've had the last few days. But hopefully, the snapper will be on. Myself and Jack, we've just headed out in the dark. We're not very far out. Probably less than a mile, half a mile out. We did have plans of going out a bit further, but it's not very it's high. Ugly, so yeah, yeah, it's yeah. pretty bumpy and ugly. So we've just decided to stay in close. We got a bit of dirty, stinky burly in the in the water here. I got half a bait out. Jack's about to whack one out. See what we can come up with. Oh, here we go. Well, maybe I'll get in the boat. I'm just casually sitting out here on the pod. Got me feet in the water because it's kind of kind of warm. That feels alright. Yeah, it's not huge, huge, but it's. It's a fish on. Yeah, it's a fish, which is something. I've been, just to come up I've been struggling to find snapper lately. They're just really eluding me. Maybe that bit of a blow we had might have stirred them up a little bit. It's definitely a snapper, all those big head, big lungies. He's not huge. Nice one, Scotty. Oh, he just, <laughs> he just me. cracked, Thanks, mate. Correct. I think he's probably going to be just under size, eh? Just under or just on? Oh, Burley must be worth him. I didn't even measure him, but I think he was pretty much just under. He looked like he was just under. I'll trust my eye. <laughs> Wipe the snapper shit off my leg. Yeah. Hang on a minute, I'm back in. I just resumed my position on the pod here. I'm gonna fish on the pod, watch this. Yeah, this, <laughs> this one actually oh, feels like a better one. Where's he going? This one feels like oh, a better man. one. He's not. Yeah, this is serious. <laughs> Work it. Oh, he's gonna make me get off the pod, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, I reckon you're gonna get up. Come on, dude, I was comfortable there. I got my feet in the water because the water's really warm. It's cold, I got a jumper on. You can see I'm wearing a jumper because the breeze is really chilly. What is that clicking noise? Yeah, I was gonna say, that doesn't sound great. It feels like the. What is that? It's something it in the like rod. About to snap. It does sound like the rod, eh? No, I feel like I'm being a rod. <sighs> this fish could be a decent fish, I think. We don't have the net set up, by the way. Yeah, the net is, I think. Oh, no, that's set up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Earnshaw's got a stir up, eh? Yeah. Work it. About time. About time, right? It's been like a pretty slim summer, eh? The snapper had just been... What is hey, that oh, noise, oh, man? Horrible. It's the rod, eh? Because the reel's not... Nah, it's the rod. You can see colour. Big, I think. That is big. Oh, oh you're on too. Double hooks. Oh, man. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> Session. Session. Inshore stir up. Oh, yeah, this is good, bro. Oh, man. Yes, <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> All right, I'll try to net this myself then, shall I? Yeah, he's decent. He's size. He's, oh yeah, he's a good one. Oh, that's no, fine. Oh, oh, yours is a spark. Good work, Oh, that's what we've been. Oh, bro, yours is huge. That's what we've been <laughs> waiting for, eh? Two four eight. What does he measure, mate? He's nine eighty nine ninety centimeters. Oh no, right shit! Over. He's Quick. a ninety something centimeter fish. He's right, yeah, he's right on ninety. Yeah. Just whack him down for a sec. I'll quickly stick this tag in. I'm going to put him back because centimeter snapper, man. He's just. I'll just put a tag in the back of him there. <laughs> what a bag. Two forty eight. Oh yes. Been a while since I've seen you hold one of them, mate. That's a yeah, bag. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been out of find them, mate. A bit of an inshore blow up. Big fat, absolutely stunning. Right, he's going to go back while he's still in the That's on the little white plastic this time. I gotcha. Yes, that's a good fish. That was a, an Abrolis. Yeah, a little Abrolis 5 inch. Oh, oh, that's twice! Yeah. 
<laughs> He's gonna throw himself in the water. Surely. That's on an unweighted hole. Something was giving it a good touch, unless it's that squid back again. It didn't look very snappery. Oh, hang on. It's getting angry now. It's fresh. <laughs> Not big. <laughs> it's maybe one I can land though. <laughs> so the inshore scene looks like it's fired up, eh? Look where we are. Oh, the sunrise was absolutely banger. Seriously, we're less than a mile from the shore. It's just the colour of the water. Look, it's all murky and stirred up. Exactly what you need to get the pinkies fired up. It's been really quiet here through the summer months. Nice little snap. Things we like haven't that. got an eating size one no, yet, eh? Because no. that other one was too big yeah. and the other two have been too small. So it's really, the summer months are really not great for inshore snapper. The water's just too clear, it's too calm. They're a very flighty sort of fish, they won't come to the boat and in the shallow water like this when it's really clear and really calm they just they're just too spooky they just won't come near the boat but a bit of a blow the water gets all murky bit of chop makes a bit of noise and suddenly they're on just like that and um yeah moving into the winter it should just get better and better hopefully Hell yeah. you <laughs> Let's see if we can get another one i just want to get a nice eating size one and then we're sorted we're done for the day. Just like that, the bite was like going pretty well and then suddenly it just shut down and the last half an hour, we haven't even had a touch. There's been one little squid that's been hanging around, but that's it. So we're out of here. We could have kept that big one, but they don't eat very well. The big ones, they get a bit of a taste to them and they're not too good. Plus, that's our big breeding stock, so I'd rather put that back. As you saw, I put it back with a tag in it, so I'll send that information through. Um, hopefully that sort of stuff will help out with, with um, maintaining our fishery into the future. As everyone's probably aware, um, the future of our fishery is a bit of a contentious issue at the moment. I'm probably not really going to talk on that right now because I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like we probably need to do something about it. We can't just keep going the way we're going. What the solution is, I do not know. I'll start this up now and I'll just stand over and show you what we were sitting on because 100% this is not a spot I've even fished before. We were heading, we were going to head out, we were going to pretty much what you call the three mile. Um, we decided it was too rough so we didn't go there and basically just sounded over the top of this bommie here. You can see it right there. That's pretty much all it is. You can see I haven't got a mark on it. That's not a spot we fished before. It was basically just a bommie that runs from eight meters. There it is there coming up and drops down to 10 behind it simple as that it's just the conditions as you can see we're pretty close to shore oh the old anchor just had a bit of a grab there there we go six meters it was just a spot on the day i think that bit of a blow and a bit of rough weather we've had as my chain comes on board a bit of rough weather we've had and a bit of a blow. Look at that ledge there, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, let's whack it over that side. It's a big joey cave. <laughs> so this is the other side of the bommie there. Yeah, so that bit of blow that we've had and a bit of swell through the week or through the last few days has just been enough to stir up the inshore snap because the water's got a bit dirty and they're just feeding. It's not that they're not here, they're probably here. You reckon, I reckon they're here all the time. I reckon the time, they're here mate. all the time, but they're just scared when it's clear. I reckon when it's spooky. clear, they just get spooky. So all it takes is a bit of dirty water and a bit of messed up water and they get a bit hungry and they start um, showing themselves a bit more. But I'm pretty sure they're here all year round. I know the cray fishermen see them following pots and stuff up through the summer months, so I don't think they'd go far. Anyway, we're out of here. If you like our videos, see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.